Quantum noise in sensory systems refers to the random fluctuations that occur at the quantum level when detecting very weak signals, such as light, sound, or electrical impulses. This noise arises due to the inherent uncertainty in quantum mechanics, often described by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. At this microscopic scale, particles like photons or electrons don't behave in a perfectly predictable way, leading to random variations or quantum noise in the signals we try to measure. For example, in the human eye, sensory cells, photoreceptors, can detect single photons of light. However, due to quantum noise, there's a limit to how precisely we can detect these photons. It's like trying to see individual fireflies on a dark night but occasionally getting flashes of light that aren't from the fireflies at all. These are random noise. Similarly, in electronic devices like sensors or amplifiers, quantum noise can manifest as small, random variations in the electrical signals, which limit the sensitivity of these systems. Analogies can help clarify this concept. Imagine a highly sensitive microphone trying to pick up the faintest whisper. Even in a quiet room, the microphone picks up background noise from air movement or its own internal components, and this noise sets a limit on how faint a sound can be before it becomes indistinguishable from the noise itself. In quantum systems, the background noise comes from the very nature of particles existing in a state of uncertainty, making it challenging to extract pure information from faint signals. Imagine trying to listen to a whisper in a crowded room. It's hard, right? The cacophony of voices, the overlapping conversations, and the general hustle and bustle make it nearly impossible to focus on that one faint sound. The murmur of the crowd drowns out the faint signal you're trying to hear. It's a constant struggle to filter out the noise and hone in on the specific sound you want to catch. This is what our sensory systems face all the time, but on a much smaller scale. Our eyes, ears, and noses are constantly bombarded with a myriad of signals, each vying for attention. It's the challenge of quantum noise. This isn't just any noise, it's a fundamental aspect of the universe itself. Quantum noise is a fundamental fuzziness built into the fabric of the universe. It's an ever-present background hum that arises from the very nature of reality. It arises from the quirky rules of quantum mechanics, where energy and matter behave less like predictable billiard balls and more like waves of probability. These waves are constantly fluctuating, creating a sea of uncertainty. This inherent randomness affects everything, even the way our senses work. Our neurons and sensory receptors are constantly navigating this unpredictable landscape. For our senses to function, they need to detect incredibly faint signals, a single photon of light, the smallest unit of light that can be detected by the human eye, a minuscule vibration in the air, such as the delicate sound waves produced by a tuning fork, a whiff of a scent carried on the breeze, like the subtle fragrance of a flower, but these faint signals are constantly bombarded by the background hum of quantum noise. This noise is like a persistent static that our sensory systems must filter out. This noise can make it difficult for our sensory systems to distinguish between a real signal and a random fluctuation. It's a delicate balancing act requiring incredible precision and sensitivity. It's like trying to make out a specific voice in a chorus of millions. The challenge is immense, yet our sensory systems are remarkably adept at this task. Yet life has evolved remarkable ways to overcome this challenge, demonstrating an incredible mastery over the quantum world. Animals, including humans, have developed sophisticated mechanisms to filter out noise and focus on the signals that matter most. From the echolocation of bats to the keen sense of smell in dogs, nature showcases an extraordinary ability to navigate the noisy quantum landscape. Scientists use various techniques, such as quantum error correction and squeezing, a method to reduce uncertainty in one property while increasing it in another, to minimize quantum noise in order to improve the performance of quantum sensors, such as those used in biological systems or cutting-edge technologies like quantum computers. Understanding and mitigating quantum noise is crucial for developing sensitive measurement tools in fields like medicine, communication, and physics. For nocturnal animals, seeing in the dark is a matter of survival. But when light is scarce, the challenge of quantum noise becomes even more acute. Each photon, the fundamental particle of light, becomes precious. Owls, the masters of the night, have evolved large, highly sensitive eyes that can gather the faintest glimmers of light. Their eyes are packed with specialized cells called rods, which are incredibly efficient at detecting single photons. Deep-sea fish, dwelling in the perpetual darkness of the abyss, have also evolved extraordinary visual adaptations. Humans, however, are not equipped for such low-light conditions. 
Our vision relies heavily on cones, cells that are responsible for color vision but are not as sensitive in low light. This is why our vision becomes grainy and unclear in the dark. The few photons available are lost in the quantum noise, making it difficult to form a sharp image. The struggle to see in the dark highlights the fundamental limitations imposed by quantum noise. It underscores the remarkable adaptations that some animals have evolved to overcome this challenge and thrive in environments where light is a luxury. Hearing relies on detecting minute vibrations in the air or water. These vibrations, carried as sound waves, cause tiny movements in specialized sensory cells in our ears. But just like light, sound is also subject to quantum noise. Bats, the navigators of the night, rely on echolocation to find their way and hunt. They emit high-pitched sounds and listen for the echoes that bounce back from objects in their environment. This requires exquisite auditory sensitivity, as they must detect faint echoes amidst a cacophony of background noise. Dolphins, the acrobatic hunters of the ocean, also use echolocation to navigate and find prey in the murky depths. They emit clicks, whistles, and pulsed calls that travel through the water, creating a sonic map of their surroundings. Their auditory systems are incredibly sensitive, capable of detecting subtle variations in the echoes that reveal the size, shape, and distance of objects. Both bats and dolphins operate in a world dominated by quantum noise. The faint echoes they rely on are constantly being masked by random fluctuations, yet their auditory systems have evolved to filter out the noise and extract meaningful information from the faintest whispers of sound. A symphony of sense, quantum tunneling in action. Our sense of smell, or olfaction, relies on a fascinating quantum phenomenon known as quantum tunneling. This process is not just a scientific curiosity, but a fundamental aspect of how we and other creatures interact with the world around us. Quantum tunneling is the ability of particles, in this case odor molecules, to pass through energy barriers that they shouldn't be able to overcome, according to classical physics. Imagine a ball rolling up a hill and magically appearing on the other side without having the energy to climb over it. When an odor molecule reaches our nose, it binds to a receptor protein on olfactory sensory neurons. This binding is the first step in a complex chain reaction that allows us to perceive smells. This binding triggers a cascade of events that ultimately send a signal to the brain. The brain then interprets these signals as distinct smells, allowing us to identify and react to different scents. However, the binding process itself is thought to involve quantum tunneling. This means that the odor molecules can effectively tunnel through the energy barriers to bind with the receptors, even when they don't have enough energy to do so in a classical sense. Dogs, renowned for their keen sense of smell, have an extraordinary number of olfactory receptors, hundreds of millions, compared to a measly six million in humans. This vast number of receptors allows dogs to detect a wide range of scents with incredible precision. This allows them to detect and discriminate between an astounding array of scents. They can pick up on the faintest traces of substances, which is why they are often used in search and rescue operations, as well as in detecting drugs and explosives. This heightened sense of smell is not just about the number of receptors, but also about the efficiency of the quantum tunneling process. The more efficient the tunneling, the more sensitive the sense of smell. Insects, too, rely heavily on their sense of smell for navigation, communication, and finding food. Their antennae are equipped with specialized sensory organs that can detect minute chemical signals in the environment. Quantum tunneling plays a crucial role in this process. By allowing odor molecules to overcome energy barriers and bind to receptors, even at very low concentrations. This is particularly important for insects, as they often need to detect pheromones and other chemical signals from great distances. This enhances the sensitivity and speed of odor detection, enabling animals to sniff out faint traces of scents in their environment. Whether it's a dog tracking a scent trail or an insect finding its way to a food source, quantum tunneling is at the heart of these remarkable abilities. Nature's Toolkit Combating Noise from Redundancy to Repair Faced with the constant challenge of quantum noise, living organisms have evolved an impressive arsenal of strategies to maintain sensory precision. This noise, which can disrupt the transmission of information, is a fundamental issue that all living beings must contend with. These strategies, refined over millions of years, highlight the ingenuity of evolution in overcoming fundamental physical limitations. The natural world is a testament to the power of adaptation and the relentless drive to survive and thrive. One common strategy is redundancy. 
Redundancy is a fascinating concept where multiple copies of sensory receptors are used to ensure that the information received is accurate. By having multiple copies of sensory receptors, organisms can effectively average out the effects of noise. This redundancy acts as a buffer, smoothing out any irregularities that might occur due to random fluctuations. This is like having several witnesses to an event. The more witnesses there are, the more reliable the account. In the natural world, this means that the more sensory inputs an organism has, the more accurate its perception of the environment will be. Another strategy is the use of feedback loops. Feedback loops are essential for maintaining the accuracy of sensory systems. These loops allow sensory systems to constantly monitor their performance and make adjustments as needed. They act like a fine-tuning mechanism, ensuring that the sensory input remains precise and reliable. Like a self-correcting system, feedback loops help to minimize the impact of noise and maintain accuracy. They are akin to a musician tuning their instrument to ensure perfect pitch. Error correction mechanisms also play a vital role. These mechanisms are crucial for detecting and correcting errors that arise due to noise. These mechanisms can detect and correct errors that arise due to noise, ensuring that the information transmitted to the brain is as accurate as possible. They function like a proofreader, meticulously checking for any mistakes and correcting them. This is like having a proofreader for our senses, double-checking for mistakes. In the wild, this means that organisms can rely on their senses to provide accurate information, even in the presence of disruptive noise. These strategies, combined with other adaptations, allow organisms to achieve remarkable sensory precision despite the ever-present challenge of quantum noise. The natural world is full of examples of how life has adapted to ensure survival in a noisy environment. It's a testament to the power of natural selection to find elegant solutions to complex problems. The continuous evolution of these strategies showcases the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. Harmony and Chaos Quantum Coherence in Living Systems Quantum coherence, a state where quantum systems act in unison, is usually associated with the pristine conditions of a physics lab. However, recent research suggests that this delicate phenomenon might also play a role in the messy world of biology, particularly in sensory systems. Birds, for example, navigate during migration using Earth's magnetic field, a sense called magnetoreception. The precise mechanism remains a mystery, but one leading hypothesis involves quantum coherence in light-sensitive proteins called cryptochromes found in their eyes. Plants, too, seem to exploit quantum coherence in photosynthesis, the process of converting sunlight into chemical energy. Light harvesting complexes in plant cells efficiently funnel energy towards reaction centers, and quantum coherence is thought to play a role in this near-perfect energy transfer. If confirmed, these findings would have profound implications for our understanding of how living organisms function at the most fundamental level. It would mean that life, far from being a passive bystander, actively exploits the quirks of the quantum world to its advantage.